Hello and welcome to the quick medical revision series of my YouTube channel Medical Study and this is the part 2 of the AIA PGET 2017 exam paper. In the previous lecture we discussed about the anatomy questions and in this we will be discussing about the physiology questions asked in AIA PGET 2017. So let us start with this. So the question is both glomerular filtration rate and renal plasma. I may see this it uh, in this question it is being asked about the glomerular filtration rate as well as the renal plasma flow both are increased by options constriction of efferent wet arterial dilatation of efferent arterial dilatation of efferent arterial or hypoproteinemia so to answer this question we must have an idea about the glomerular filtration rate renal plasma flow and about the something about the how the filtration takes place and bowen's capsule so let us start and then we will see what is the answer so this is the bowman capsule and this is the efferent arterial which is entering in the bowman capsule this is making a tuft of arteries that is a glomerulus and then coming out from here as an efferent arterial so there is an efferent arterial carrying the blood to the glomerulus to the bowman capsule and there is an efferent arterial taking away the blood from the bowman capsule and it is the area where the filtration takes place now how does an filtration takes place remember always the concept of filtration as well as the concept of edema they are both same in order to understand the concept of filtration you must understand what actually is the first of all what actually is the glomerular filtration rate so it is the volume of the glomerular filtrate formed each minute by all nephrons of the kidney so it is the volume which is formed here this is one nephron so volume of the filtrate formed by each nephron of the kidney that total volume is known as glomerular filtration rate it is 125 ml per minute or 170 to 180 liters per day so formula for glomerular filtration rate is kf multiplied by effective filtration pressure where kf is the filtration coefficient of glomerular membrane now remember for the concept of filtration or the edema you must know two things one is the hydrostatic pressure and another is the oncotic pressure Hydrostatic pressure is the pressure which forces the fluid out and oncotic pressure is the pressure which takes the fluid in. So these two are the opposite forces and the these opposite forces gives the filtration or you can say can cause the edema also. So if more is the hydrostatic pressure, more fluid will be pushed out of the capillaries. If more is the oncotic pressure, more fluid will be taken into the capillary so remember these two concept of hydr uh, hydrostatic force and the or hydrostatic pressure and the oncotic pressure so effective filtration pressure will be pressure in the capillaries minus pressure in the bowman capsule that is subtracted from oncotic pressure of the capillaries minus oncotic pressure of the bowman capsule and putting the values in we get the where kf is the constant 12.5 milliliter per minute per mvg and these are the different pressures Oncote, uh, the hydrostatic pressures in the capillary and the bowman and the oncotic pressure in the capillary in bowman and the result coming out to be 125 ml per minute remember this thing for mcqs also now what are the factors which affect the glomerular filtration rate now from the concept of hydrostatic pressure and the oncotic pressure logically if you say there if there is an increase in hydrostatic pressure filtration will increase if there is a decrease in oncotic pressure filtration will increase or if there is an increase in oncotic pressure it will rather suck the fluid in and the filtration will decrease so on the basis of that concept let us see what are the factors which affect the global filtration one is age it decreases with the advancing age so due to decrease in the renal blood flow and cardiac output Glomerular filtration rate is directly proportional to the renal blood flow. More the renal blood flow, more will the glomerular filtration rate. So the factors which increase the renal blood flow, they will increase the glomerular filtration rate. Now changes in the hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries. More the hydrostatic pressure, more will be the glomerular filtration rate. So hydrostatic pressure increase by increasing the systolic blood pressure. Or another thing, if there is a constriction in either of the arteries, like afferent or efferent there is a decreased renal blood flow so if there is a constriction the afferent arterial or in the efferent arterial this will lead to decrease in the glomerular filtration 
or vice versa if there is a dilatation of the efferent arteriole and efferent arteriole that will lead to the increase in the renal blood flow as well as increase in the glomerular filtration pressure now next is change in the hydrostatic pressure in the bowman capsule now suppose bowman capsule hydrostatic pressure is increased that will cause the fluid to go back into the capillaries or so and how can the effective hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman capsule can increase if there is a ureteral obstruction that will lead to the congestion in the Bowman capsule that will lead to increase in the hydrostatic pressure in the Bowman capsule and that lead to decrease in glomerular filtration rate and another thing is changing in the concentration of plasma protein that is hyperproteinemia hyperproteinemia in the blood that leads to decrease on cortic pressure in the capillaries and that leads to increase in the filtration because oncotic pressure is a sucking force if it is decreased it will lead to more filtration so now we know the concept of how the glomerular filtration rate is increased and let us see the answer now now see constriction of efferent arteriole the constriction will lead to decrease in glomerular filtration rate as we discussed dilatation of efferent arteriole the dilatation of efferent arteriole will lead to easy flow out of the blood from the glomerulus and that will lead to decrease in the glomerular filtration now dilatation of afferent arteriole afferent arteriole will lead to increase in the renal blood flow because of the dilatation more the renal blood flow more will be the glomerular filtration rate as you seen here the glomerular filtration rate is directly proportional to renal blood flow so one answer could be three on hyperproteinemia hyperproteinemia will lead to decrease oncotic pressure increase glomerular filtration but hyperproteinemia will not lead to increase in the renal plasma flow so the best probable answer here is the dilatation of efferent arteriole now isoelectric segment of ecg that represent the complete depolarization of ventricle the answer you should give without seeing the options there are only two isoelectric segments in the ECG one is the PR segment another is the ST segment so here the answer should be ST segment let us see in the ECG now these are the normal wave the P wave the upright wave then there is a PR segment you can see it is on the baseline this is an isoelectric segment isoelectric segment of the ECG is where no electrical activity is taking place then the QRS complex is the electrical activity complex then ST segment again isoelectric no activity is seen here then the T wave followed by U wave so there are two isoelectric segment ST segment and PR segment so the answers we have the choice here is ST segment other all this PR interval is basically from the beginning of P to the end of R so this is not isoelectric okay so segments are isoelectric then ST segment is isoelectric in ECG okay now the pulse pressure so pulse pressure is Options are highest pressure measured in the arteries, lowest pressure measured in the arteries, decrease with decrease in compliance of the arteries, and increase with increase in stroke volume. So, if you know the meaning of these options, you will be able to answer the pulse pressure. And if you know what is pulse pressure, the answer is, is easy. So, pulse pressure is basically the systolic blood pressure minus the diastolic blood pressure. So, this is the pulse pressure. Now, let us see here. It is the highest pressure measured in the arteries. The highest pressure measured in the arteries is not the pulse pressure it is rather the systolic blood pressure so systolic blood pressure is the highest pressure measured in the arteries during the systole it tells us about the functioning capacity of the heart it tells us about the stroke volume of the heart it, so this is the highest pressure measured in the arteries is systolic blood pressure lowest pressure measured in the arteries is basically the diastolic blood pressure which signifies the peripheral resistance it tells us about against which load the heart is working it tells us uh, uh, the SBP tells us about the with how much efficiency the heart is working and diastolic blood pressure tells us about against which pressure the heart is working that is the peripheral resistance the third is decrease with decrease in compliance now compliance is a term for flexibility for the dilatation easily dilatation easily stretching so it decreases with decrease in compliance of the arteries the decrease in compliance means the arteries have become stiff rigid when the arteries become rigid and the when the heart pushes out the blood from the aorta because
because of the rigidness of arteries it exert more pressure in the arteries that leads to increase in the systolic blood pressure and more the hardness the hard, the blood will leave the artery very early and that lead to decrease in the diastolic blood pressure so when the arteries become stiff the systolic blood pressure increases and diastolic blood pressure falls down so pulse pressure increases this cannot be the answer so also uh, you can apply this concept in the old age where the arteriosclerosis takes place in old age the systolic blood pressure is high diastolic blood pressure is low and pulse pressure is high increase with increase in stroke volume stroke volume more more will be the systolic blood pressure so more is the systolic blood pressure and as per the formula more the systolic blood pressure minus the diastole the pulse pressure will increase so let us know something more about the pulse pressure the factors which affect the pulse pressure are stroke volume the heart directly proportional to pulse pressure got the answer compliance of the arteries inversely proportional to pulse pressure as we have discussed you can say pulse pressure is directly proportional to stroke volume and inversely proportional to compliance of the arteries high pulse pressure indicate high systolic blood pressure strength of pulse is determined by pulse pressure and it rises with the advancing age so the answer here is for the increase with increase in the stroke volume next question is which of the following statements are true regarding the roads of the retina now this is something which you must know otherwise it is not easy to answer this question Roads are more sensitive to low intensity light as compared to cones. Roads adapt to darkness before cones. Roads are more concentrated on fovea. Roads are primarily involved in color vision. So let us see something about the roads and cones. The cones are responsible for color vision. This also we have studied somewhere in 10th, 11th and 12th also. The cones are responsible for color vision. The roads are responsible for night vision. They can detect the dim light and are mainly responsible for black and white vision and vision in the dark. The fovea is the area, a minute area in the center of the retina. It is capable of acute and detailed vision and this is composed entirely of the cones, not the roads. In case of roads, the light sensitive photochemical is rhodopsin, while in cones it is simply a color pigment. Roads are more sensitive to light, so they continue to adapt to darkness for hours, while cones cease to adapt in 9 to 10 so roads continue to adapt to dark light because of their sensitivity to the light so what could be the answer now roads are more sensitive to low intensity light as compared to cones right roads adapt to darkness before cones wrong roads are more concentrated on fovea no cones are more concentrated on fovea roads are involved in color vision no cones are involved in color vision so answer is one roads are more sensitive to low intensity light as compared to cones now while spinning to the left, the eyes of a dancer snap quickly to the left. The fast time movement is known as this is a really the simplest question I have seen. Now see the four options. The only option which is related to the eyes in this type was ataxia is incoordinated body movement. Aphasia is inability to speak. Apraxia is inability to perform motor activities. Nystagmus is the only term related with the eyes. So the answer has to be this. So let us know something about the nystagmus. It is a jerky movement of the eye seen at the start and end of a rotation. It is a reflex that maintains the visual fixation on stationary point while the body rotates. Uh, it is a reflex also present in the blind individuals because this reflex is controlled from the brain stem and the labyrinth. So when rotation start, I move slowly in direction opposite to the direction of rotation, maintaining the visual fixation. This is why vestibular ocular reflex. When the rotation stops, I quickly snap back to the new fixation point and then again move slowly in the other direction. This slow component is initiated by impulse from vestibular labyrinth. The quick component is triggered by centering the brainstem. So brainstem and vestibular labyrinth, they both control the movement of the eye while we are rotating. So at this point, a small jerky movement of the eye will be seen that is known as nystagmus. But if it is seen at rest, it is a sign of pathology. So the answer here has to be Nystagmus. So this is all about the physiology questions asked in AIA PGT 2017. I will be back with more questions asked in that exam. I hope you will enjoy the lecture. If something is not clear, you can 
message me so share and subscribe my channel thank you so much bye bye